The Thames Barrier is the main defence against flooding for London and is sited across a 520 metre section of the River Thames. The Thames Barrier has two types of gates. Falling radial gates. These gates sit above the river, making these sections non-navigable. Rising sector gates. These gates rest on the riverbed, which allows river traffic to pass through the barrier. In the open position, the gate lies flat with the riverbed. This allows the tide to ebb and flow naturally, and river traffic to pass through the gates. Hydraulic cylinders are used to rotate the gates into position. Individual gates can be closed in 10 minutes, but the whole barrier closure takes one and a half hours. The closure usually takes place soon after low tide. When fully raised, the barrier creates a solid steel wall, preventing water flowing upstream towards the capital. The four main gates span 61 metres and weigh over 3,300 tonnes each. Each gate is 20 metres high and can hold back loads of up to 9,000 tonnes. The underspill position assists the opening process, as a controlled amount of water is passed under the gate and up the Thames. The Thames barrier can only be reopened once the water level upstream of the barrier matches the level downstream. The maintenance position allows the barrier engineers to service the gates and keep them in working order. The falling radial gates are sited towards the banks of the river. These gates are held in position above the river, are non-navigable and are dropped in position when required. The protective walls downriver have been raised to provide the same standard of protection as the Thames Barrier.